welcome back to the room. So I've been a little busy off camera. I know some people say if it doesn't happen on camera, it doesn't happen, but whatever. Um, life goes on. Um, and the reason being is because I had a lot of sanding to do. Now, you saw what I did with the floor that I brought up the plywood and I saw the planks. So what I did, if you want to follow me down, is these are the original planks to the house. And uh, there are a couple of spots that are really, really um, large in between the planks. So what I did was uh, you can get various different types of patch. And um, I used a, a very coarse patch that you can use for wood, cement, and a bunch of different things. And um, I just plugged it in. The reason I use that is because it's paintable. I'm not staining these floors. I'm actually going to paint them. Uh, and the reason being is that this is just a small little room and I've stained the floor in the other room the same color, a very, very dark color. And quite frankly, uh, the paint will give me the exact same effect because it's so opaque. So anyway, I put in the patch, I let it dry for two days, and then I sanded it with a belt sander, um, and then I cleaned up all the dust. So it wasn't a very exciting job. But that's what I, I did. Now you will notice that there are some areas that I did not patch in. And that's for, for two reasons. This is the access uh, to our electrical downstairs. So it's kind of silly to patch it all up when I might be putting in new pot lights down there in the future. And I'll be putting a big area rug over the center. So I, I patched in what was necessary. I sanded it all down and we're going to paint it. So how this is gonna go is I'm gonna take down uh, this trim I'm going to paint the white, white again, so that's no big deal. I'm going to paint this um, a dark brown and it's eggshell. And I'm going to paint the floor the same dark brown, but it is a semi gloss so that I might get a better sheen and it'll be easier to clean. Alright, so uh, this is about, I guess, a two day job. Let's see, it takes two days. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you guys remember, but we were working on this room when last time you saw me and I had ripped up all the floorboards and then you saw me um, painting all the floor and then the walls and then I put up some wood around where the border was and now I have furnished it. So this phase of the project is complete. So the closet, the walk-in and the room are all complete. So let's just do a walk-in. As you come in, and I'll just do this slowly because my hand is kind of shaky. You'll see that I furnished it just with a nice big chair and um, one of our dressers. The reason being I didn't want this to be totally empty. Yes, I do know this is the first phase of the um, renovation and eventually this will end up being a huge bathroom, but that's not for another year or so. So right now this is our dressing room. Where you see this big chair, that is where the doorway will be going into the bathroom for the next phase. But for now, it's a lovely um, dark um, brown color for the bottom part of the walls. It is called Phantom Mist and it is eggshell. And then I have a border around it of wood just to keep it nice and neat. I have my Debbie Travis blind <laughs> and a plant to make it homey. This is a small carpet that I put over the painted floor. I got it for $29. It's just something to bring the room in. Okay, so again, it just painted the same color as the room over there. And then here is what this whole thing was all about. This is the doorway that leads in to my bedroom. Remember, there was just a wall here. So as you can see, it's all nice and neat. There's no big cracks in it or, or divots or anything. It turned out absolutely perfect. I couldn't be happier. And it's, it's a very clean look, which I'm very happy with. 
If you come closer, you'll see that in the closet on this side, we've got the two shelves for the shoes, and I put a little piece of molding on there so it looks like a shadow box. Cleans up the edges a little bit. And then another shelf for the clothing, um, like sweaters, and then I have a long rod uh, for my pants. If we slowly go to the other side, and again, bear with me because <laughs> Jonathan's much better at this than I am. Um, I've put in a little lamp, as you can see, so that I can light my way. And again, I have the shelves, but this time I've added an extra shelf for my shoes. So three shelves for the shoes, and then a shelf for my pants, like my jeans, and then another rod and my shorter garments, such as uh, my shirts. So this project is done, and it's a huge success. I couldn't be happier. The bedroom door, as you see right there, is actually used to be the closet door, and it goes right into my bedroom, and now we have the ensuite.